がこれこそがシャプリアールのガンプラその真の姿だ Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Forex channel. Today we're building the Saravi Gundam. I don't want to try to pronounce that. <laughs> okay.、Uh, it's from the Build Divers.、Uh, I think the first appearance is at episode 5. Yeah. Well, if you watch my unboxing video, I bought this from Bobo City and I am building it today. It's actually a pretty big box. You know, so let's just start looking at the size first. So, we got some, you know, introduction about the actions. We got some, uh, some, some, uh, Ifrit mode and Jin mode. So, you can switch around the, you know, the backpack, switch it on the mobile suit or not. And then the other side, we have a description of the Gampla. Oh, it actually. Have some English text on this so you can read it. So you can do the reading, I am not reading it. <laughs> so when we open it, we'll see one, two, three, four, five, five packages. And then at the bottom, we have an instruction book. So, you know, let's just quickly flick through it.、Um, so in it, it introduced the builder. And the g u n p l a as well. And now flip it to the back. So the material g u n p l a is, of course, is from the Seravi Gundam. And、uh, we got some GM,、uh, we got the the container at the back. And you know, quickly flick through it. Let's just quickly flick through it. So we. Oh, so we got an extra piece here that you can put it on other gun f l o w s if you want to do some customization. Oh, this is actually a pretty good feature.、Um... Oh, by the way,、uh, I remember what I need to say now. So, I actually think the builder is actually pretty smart. Who the hell can think about putting a whole battleship as your backpack? That is, that is pretty cool, actually, the idea. Anyway,、uh, I'm going to start opening the runners. Alright, so I opened up all the runners now. Let's look at it. So, first, we got an H1 and H2 runner. This is the new runner on the g u n p l a So, I believe this is the backpack.、Uh, we got some torso parts, some knees armor, some、uh, waist,、uh, shoulders. Yep. And then next, we have a K. Two、runner, so I believe this is for the backpack as well. So,、uh, the container has some parts on it that you can snap it on, like this. This is the J1 runner,、uh, the GM physical gun, I believe, and、uh, the GM drive, and some joints. B runner from the original、uh, high grade double, the Zara V Gundam. So,、uh, I so this is probably the You know, the the likes, and yeah, I probably think that it's not gonna use too much, probably it's for the likes. That is the D runner from the original、uh, Zara v e g a n d a m so we got some joint for the hand,、uh, we got some hands here as well, and some connectors, yep.、Yeah. A K1 runner, so it's a new head, it's just two head, it's for the It's just for the head, yep. I2 runner, the. I believe this is the GN drive for the backpack and some torso parts, yep. I1 runner,、um, waist, waist part,、uh, the, the, uh, the container on the back as well,、uh, a new head as well. J2 runner, just like the J1, but just, you know, it d u p l i c a t e I believe this is duplicated, and, you know, it's just for the, it's for the backpack again. Is it? I think it's for the backpack. Lastly, the A runner, original s e r a v i Gundam's、uh, runner.、Uh, we got some legs armor, some, you know,、uh, GM conden、uh, the condenser, and、um, the feet part, <laughs> I guess. I, I'm not really too sure actually. I, I actually never built a Seravi Gundam before, so I'm not sh- really sure. So, first, we got two polycaps a original large polycaps and a very, you know, very 
traditional polycaps like like the polycaps that have been used nowadays and we have some stickers oh thank god it's actually not large stickers so which means most of the parts is by part separation i'm looking forward to that and you know uh, i will see you at the review Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the review. And now this is the finishing of the whole uh, gunpla. And as you can see, I bought a turntable. Uh, it kind of shipped in like what uh, a couple days ago. And I can finally, you know, I can finally stop moving the gunpla, gunpla around. And then, you know, I got free handed now. I can think about what I'm saying now. And this is this is finishing of it. You might ask, uh, where's the backpack? Well, I didn't put it on yet because I need to introduce the backpack separately. And I honestly need to say though, this is probably one of the coolest uh, customization that I've ever seen because, you know, as I just said at the opening, who ever thought about putting a whole battleship on a gunpla? 
<laughs> but you know, I, I really I really admire their creativity. It's really good. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna you know, as usual, I'm gonna start with the movement and then you know I'm gonna talk about the backpack and you know because even though if I put on the backpack I can't even introduce the articulation because the backpack <laughs> just block a lot of movement, like seriously. And you know, I'm not gonna talk too much, let's just start with the review. As usual, let's start with the head. So the head is just as usual, uh, it's, a, it's mostly new pieces and you know, the head can move up and down as usual and then you know, turn around 360, no problem at all. And um, you know, the head actually kinda looks like one of those design like with a mask on it but you know it's like a half mask for me and you know it's it's pretty sharp if you cut off the edges it's pretty sharp because those edges just you know just uh, prevent you from breaking the uh, antenna and remind you uh, the yellow piece here is actually a piece of sticker so if you don't like stickers but this time is not really loose so if you don't like stickers you can just paint it because I mean it's just yellow you can just kinda paint it yeah, and you know, let's just keep looking. Right now, let's talk about the torso. The torso uh, is pretty much new. Yeah, it's kind of is is actually pretty much new. And you know, it, I actually pretty, I actually need to pretty say though, uh, they have a pretty good color separation on the torso because uh, I don't because there's no stickers being used on the torso though. And you know, let's just sort it into do so. This time is a it's a double joint here, so you can kind of move the waist uh, up and down like this and it can also go around uh, 360 this is very good movement without the backpack of course if it's with a backpack it also can move to side to side for like uh, probably uh, 40 degrees it's actually pretty movable though so you know if you want to make some cool poses with it definitely happening now let's talk about the hand uh, the, the arm sorry uh, it's 360 without the backpack and during is an old model so uh, lift up 90 pretty well and you know it's not double joint so approximately uh, probably bend this much uh, it's probably about not really 180 probably 130 or something and you know the whole arm as usual is usual it can spin around the hands as well can spin around as well so overall the, arm, uh, the arms are, uh, is actually still pretty good movement even though using the old modes. Now let's talk about the lower body. So first, uh, we got some side skirt, completely immovable. So don't even think about it. And I also have a Bengals here. You see, the the gunplay that I receive is actually got loose on it. Like look at the other feet, it's completely fine. But this one is loose. So uh, apparently the parts here is movable, but mine here is just very loose. And couldn't you know flick it back for some reason? No, not sure why. And the legs during is a pretty old mold, so probably 90 degrees, and that's it. Uh, side kick because it's a ball joint on the uh, legs, so uh, side kick not really kind of happening. So uh, but the front kick during the, is a pretty heavy piece of armor, so approximately this much. And you know back kick approximately this much. And because you know, as I just said, this is just using a pretty old mold like the uh, the Zara Veganum, uh, so which is why it's still a ball joint and it's not like the modern uh, gunplus that got the uh, different joint that you can you know kick side, kick front, kick back. But you know, this time the legs movement are limited. All right, now let's talk about the accessory. Uh, so uh, this gunplus only have one weapon on the whole entire gunplus, just a. GM physical bazooka. Uh, little fun fact here is actually from a uh, side story of the Gundam Double is the Double O P Double O P series. Yes, Double O P series. So it's a originally is the Gundam Vulture physical um, weapon. So this is called the GM uh, physical bazooka, and this time uh, this gunplay actually do have it, but you know it. Instead of holding originally, it, this time it hold upside down. So the original version, the handle will have on the top, and then you hold it. But this time, uh, the designer of this gunpla actually have it flipped it, flipped differently. Just give me a second. I need to put it on. So you know, put on the weapon is pretty simple. You just need to put on the weapon, and then you put on the connector on it to kind of stabilize it. And finally, it should look like this. 
as you can see, it's pretty easy to attach on. There's no other accessory or the weapons. There's no other hand option as well. Just the hand, pair of hands that on the gunpla, and the only weapon on it is kind of like the bazooka only. All right now, let's introduce something that you all be waiting on for a long time. Is the uh, Ptomos cannon at the backpack. So basically, just a backpack. Okay, let's just call it backpack. It's too long for calling the full name. So you know, I extremely have to comment about this builder again. You are very smart on putting a whole battleship for as a backpack. Good job about that. Great creativity. Give you a hundred marks. Okay, that anyway, that's no point. So uh, this time the the cannon actually is pretty good. Like each container on it is movable. The back side is movable as well. And then also and then also you can uh, just wait for your spin and then you also have a handle at the side as well which you can which you can flip it out and then you know you can make the gunpla holding on it as you can see the, the handle is just really easy to flip it out you just basically have to do this and they will flip it out and it also have a front here that you can open it up and it got a bazooka uh, launcher here the GM bazooka and it's also the part of the on the tip of the Backpack is actually a piece of sticker, but you know, I'm fine with it. And you know, let's just start showing how do you uh, put on the backpack. Now, let's show you the backpack. So the backpack got the first mode called the Jin mode. So first, you need to pull off the bottom two container out, and then you separate the unit. Uh, just be gentle, you separate the unit. Now, the tail is being out now, so all you have to do is just do a simple rotation like this, and then is pretty much done for the part. So now you turn the back and then you snap it at the back of the waist. Like this. You just snap it in like this. Pretty simple, huh? So first the backpack has been completed now. So not the backpack, sorry, the back waist booster is now done. And then all you have to do uh you need to rotate around the the uh the the containers and then you put it on to the gunpla. And all, you, and then you, all you have to do is just, you know, facing, facing to each joint, and then you put it in. Just, you know, you might have to push down a bit. Oh, it's moving around now. Just give me a second. So now it should look like this. Now it should look like this. Now, like we got a basic idea now out of it now. So two containers at the waist, and then we have a back container here as well. And now all you have to do, you just need to turn around, turn the uh, container facing down, and then you know all you have to do is just you know connect the joint together, and there you go. Now the whole backpack is being put on to the uh, gunpla. Now I'm going to show you the next mode that this gunpla have. It's called the Ivory mode or you can say build more height mode. I would like to call that build more height mode because overall after you've done this mode the mobile suit will look extremely weird on the scale and the height and I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first you need to pull off all four containers and the back tail is out. At the back tail have the little wing uh, which is contained on the handle. You need to pull that off as well. And then you need to pull the hands off and then pull the containers uh, handle out and then you clip it on the hand. But first let's do it. Let's do the um, the gym mode. So first you need to so first you need to switch the joint at the back and there's an individual joint that has been given in this gunpla and then you can you can put it on and then now it should look like this the backpack now the container should face in front the two containers should be facing the front and now legs let's do something with the legs so first we'll need to we'll need to turn around oh wait sorry uh, we'll need to turn around and then we need to open it like this and then what we have to do is we pick up the leg and then we just basically put it in there and there's a joint there, so all you have to do is just face the joint and do it. And do it to the same like the other legs. You gonna need to take some process. Now individual joint, and then you clip it down like this. So now it should look like this. It looks pretty weird, in my opinion. It looks pretty weird. Now it looks like a gunpla standing on a high heel. It looks pretty weird, to, to be honest, in my opinion. And then next, we'll have to clip on the, we have to clip on the Ivrit 
mode weapon, which is the uh, the claws, the GN claws. And then now when we need a new, oh, let's just move that away first. When we need a new connector piece here, so we got a new connector piece that you need to put it on in order to uh, actually achieve the mode. And just give me a second. Which way did I have to put it? I don't even remember. So now all you have to do, you just put it in like this, and then you need to you need to separate the back of the container. Just gently pull it off. Gently pull it off. Uh, it's gonna take a lot. it's gonna take a bit of time to pull it off. It, uh, uh, gosh, it's not coming off. Yeah, there we go. And now you have to separate the claws. And then you need to put it on. And then you need to put it on to the new connector piece here. Then you turn you turn it around, facing the wings, facing out, and then you put it on like this. So now it will it will show you as the claw has been opened. And then now you put remember the wing that would rip it off from the uh, back container? Now you need to put it on on the uh, container again so the overall the claw should look like this and yeah that's and yeah uh, it's not gonna hold well because you know honestly I don't expect because the distance uh, of the weapon and the arm is actually pretty far so I'm not gonna expect it's gonna hold well so now I'm just gonna finish the other side and I will let you see the result and after the whole process being completed it should look like this uh, as you can see the scale will look really weird <laughs> just a little warning there the scale will look really weird because you know you have such a you know such a fake legs then you have this small little part here it look it will look weird and then now, uh, but honestly, it looks way cooler now. You know, the claws looks very good. I love it. And you know, time to wrap it up. Uh, I would say this is a very fun gunpla to play with. But I wish, I wish it's not this sloppy thing here. Look at, look at it. <laughs> I wish I didn't have that bango there. But uh, it's fine with it. I, I honestly think uh, the designer of this is actually very good. Uh, you know. I need to mention it again. This is the third time I mentioned it in this video. Who will think about putting a whole battleship on as a backpack and you know it can change it to the more and <laughs> gain weight, I mean gain height mode. And then we will have a normal gym mode and we also had a uh it can turn into a cannon as well. It's very it's very creative I uh, overall think. And you know I really love the design but you know it just the loose part here kinda take out the marks and you know some part uh, and then yeah kind of look like it and you know uh, oh by the way the clear parts here is very easy to fell off so if you don't want to be messy I suggest you to glue it because the clear piece here if you touch a bit it will fell off so if you don't want to cause that problem I would recommend you to glue it and uh, this is the end of the review hope you guys like this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more gunpla reviews and I will see you next time with another gunpla review or honest talk or unboxing you know whatever it is and I will see you next time goodbye